Hello, you fabulous people. It is Tea Time with Tia. How are you today? I do hope you're having a great day. I just want to share a message with you all who are believers in Yahweh, who is the God I am referring to. And I am very specific, and that's why I say Yahweh. A lot of times when we hear the name God, it's a universal um, term. And when we say Yahweh, it clarifies we are talking about the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Of course, Yeshua, who is Jesus Christ. And that needs to be clarified often by those who follow Jesus because there are so many interpretations of who God is. To some... God is themself. To others, God is an inanimate object. There are those who look to people as a God. So when we as believers in Christ clarify who we're speaking of, it really makes it a better understanding of why we stand the way we stand. There's so much controversy in the world. Let not the controversy of who we were referring to be one of them. Don't let that be your concern as a follower of Jesus, especially when you've been called to witness to those who do not know him. They need to know who you are speaking of. Now, I would like to say that it's so important as we follow Christ, to mind our spiritual manners. I very often see a believer today, more common, speaking of attitude as far as, as if it's okay, saying things like, that's just the way I am built, or that's just my makeup, that's the way I am. Now, I don't come as one who has arrived, but one who strives in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We all have to continue to work on our own soul salvation with fear and trembling unto the Lord. However, we don't need to make excuses for things that we just don't want to let go of. Certain practices and attitudes and um, beliefs really are not acceptable if we're following Jesus his way. We can't say, oh, that's just the way I've always been. Well, when you became a believer in Christ, he does require you not to stay the way you always have been, but to strive for the way you should be. Let's keep this in mind because the world is watching and whether they care or not, they actually do use Christianity as sometimes a way of looking for shortcomings so they can just broadcast the faults of believers or sometimes they're actually looking for a true example example of a believer. So with that being said, do the best you can. I mean, absolutely the best you can to follow Christ the way he has called you to follow him. Now, although there are different callings in the kingdom, the attitude is still expected from all of us to be the same. As far as our work ethic and our desire to please the Lord, it should be consistent across the body of Christ, regardless of our different capacities of responsibilities. Let's not get that confused. Now, this may be a little hard to digest for some, especially who are set in their ways and have truly forgotten what Jesus said. Is it easy? The flesh? No. It's not something that you may be able to just turn off so quickly as you turned it on. However, that's why you have to go to Jesus and Jesus alone, who was so eager to help all of us overcome the works of the flesh 
and those ways about us that we really do like and don't want to let go of. But when we follow him, we really don't have that choice to hold on to it. Otherwise, we are not walking in total purity as he has called us. So keep these things in mind that I've shared today. And until the next time you sit with me, God bless you. Enjoy your tea.